Hello everybody, my name is Markiplier and welcome back to West of Loathing. Putting on the hat was a mistake. A bad, grievous mistake, an error, and here is why. Okay, that is a lot harder. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, heal, desperately heal. Oh my God, if every fight is like this from now on, I'm so boned. Now that I've presented the evidence of why you should not do that, I have now started a completely new game. My name is still Mumfler Fumperdink. I have still done everything that I have done so far up until now, except I hit a bunch more cactuses and I got the perk mostly scabs, which is nice because it gives me more health, but that's the only difference. Now, the other thing that I've done differently is I have not killed the goblin yet. I have learned the goblin primer, and I am ready to see what this goblin has to say to me if indeed I can talk to it. <laughs> I gotta sneak up on this goblin. The goblin shouts, I'm Gary. Uh, hi, Gary. Hi, hi, <laughs> hello, hello, I am Gary. Who are you? Introduce yourself. I'm Mumfler. Hello, hello, Mumfler. Good to meet ya. What Mumfler doing down here? Well, I'll be polite, I guess. I don't want to say that I was here to kill ya. That would be weird, huh? Be polite. Oh, hey ho! Gary likes to looking too. <laughs> Gary now looking for a way out of this dump. Gary not having much luck though. Where are you trying to go, Gary? High away. High away and far up for popping. Popping and then new Gary everywhere. Everywhere, everywhere. Settle down, Gary. Gary doesn't like to settling. Gary wants to traveling and popping. If Mumfler going far up and high away, maybe taking Gary with you, eh? Eh? I'll think about it. Oh boy. Oh boy, boy, boy. I could take Gary with me as my companion. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I'm probably gonna do that. Anyway, so I think we're done in this town and I think we're everywhere that we need to be. Can you sell me a horse? Sure thing, I should warn you though. Horses get mighty attached to their riders. Once you've bought one, you won't be able to change your mind later. Which are you interested in? The basic model, the shifty looking dark one, the spooky one. Give me the one with the crazy eyes. I'll take the crazy one. Ah, oh, okay, I gotta warn you, this horse has seen some sh some stuff, but I'll sell him to you for a thousand meat. <laughs> uh, is something wrong with him? No, not as such, he's perfectly functional. What more can I ask for? I'll but... Well, he always sneaking off to Thousand Snakes Gulch to chew on the loco weed that grows there. And that makes him see crazy things? I think it's more like he does it to forget about the crazy things he sees all the time anyway. Color me intrigued. I'll take him. <laughs> Here's the keys ride save. Give him a name. Oh, Tim! Oh, he's already named Tim! Oh, hell yeah. I'm gonna name him Tim. I'm gonna name him Timfler. Welcome, Timfler, to the Fumperding family. You're a part of this now, whether you like it or not. Are you sure you want to name your horse Timfler? I've never been sure, more sure of anything in my life, so let's go to it. It's got a nice ring to it. Oh, and I almost forgot, free with every horse purchase is a complimentary map. Okay, thank you. Ride Timfler out of town. Are you Any unfinished business you will- you've got will forever remain unfinished. Are you sure you're ready to- uh, I mean, what else is there to do, right? I, I think I did everything, so I think I'm good. Alrighty then, you're probably horsed and ready to start your new life west. All you need now is a partner. Somebody to share the trail with. Somebody you can rely on for emotional and combat support. Who will you take? Crazy Pete, Doc Alice, Susie Cochran, Gary Goblin, go it alone. One second thought. I like me some Gary. I don't know what he's talking about, about popping everywhere and <laughs> making new Garys. I have a funny feeling that's reproducing. But uh, okay, Crazy Pete would be interesting, but I think I'd get tired of the uh, accent. Doc Alice is just burying herself in drink. Susie Cochran has a vengeance plan. That'd be like the typical choice that I would do. Susie Cochran seems like a good reason to take him out west because she, uh, she's got no family here and she's got a a thirst for vengeance, which I can always use. But I think Gary the Goblin is gonna be just interesting. You head back to the saloon's basement and smuggle Gary out under your coat. Hit the trail. Uh, oh, up until this point, I've been automatically spending, uh, I'll spend it manually. 
Okay, all right. Option of turning yourself into some kind of unbalanced weirdo if you want. Check your map. All right. Head for dirt water. Okay, all right. So, now that we got that all out of the way, and we've gotten over here, I can- uh, It was- I got up to this point, uh, last time I played through with the hat on, and, uh, it was a goddamn mistake because the first battle that I went into on the road to the next area was, um, yeah, it didn't go so good for me, so don't do that. Aw, Timfler Winnie's comb his mane. He makes sort of a glurk noise. All right, I'll leave him alone. Hey, buddy, it's your partner. Is he? Howdy, Gary. Wanting more goblins meeting? Gary is hearing about goblins in Old Fort nearby. Hmm, okay. All right, anything? What do you think we should do next? West is going fast. Okay, a big iron snake to riding so fast taking us. A big iron, you mean the train? Yes, asking the trains mans. Okie dokie. Alrighty then. Any other ideas you got, Gary? Uh, what do you think we should do next? No, any other ideas? Gary says you should see the bartender about renting a room. Alright, okay. Alright, see you, Gary. Hey, buddy. How's it going? Ooh. Howdy there! Always nice to see a new face in town. Welcome to the Jewel Saloon! Hi, thanks, I'm Mumfler. Glad to know you, Mumfler. Folks around here just call me Lloyd. What can I do for you? Nice to meet you, Lloyd. I saw you advertising a room. That's right! Finest room in the house. And plenty of room for your partner, too. Interested? How much does it cost? Well, that's where you're in luck. The previous tenant was a banker fella, and he paid a month in advance, right before getting himself killed by bandits. You seem like a decent sort, so your room's if you want it. Okay, all right. I'm gonna act surprised because I already knew about that. Oh, he's so nice! What do you think of the Jewel Saloon, Gary? Nice place, many people. Gary betting the basement is much nicer than in Boring Springs. Hmm, yeah, they probably don't want people going in their basement. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Sorry about that. Sorry. These guys must have fallen asleep during a brawl. All right, this is my favorite. Hey, look at yourself in the mirror. Insult yourself. You call yourself a possum sniffing green headed jerk. You get, your effect is angry, which is great because you get a lot of muscle moxie and mysticality. Insult yourself again. You call yourself a green booted lily booted jerk. Green and lily. And then you got like plus six across the board, which is pretty nice. You better not insult yourself anymore, you get any angrier, you're liable to pass out. But even with all of these buffs, I couldn't do anything, like anything at all, to be able to withstand the beating I took from the enemies out there. Alright, what are we getting here? Hello there! Alright, uh, bag of shroom crow. Advance cow punching! How many do I have? I have 800. Alright, I'll get the binoculars. I don't know why I need that, but I'm- Gary will want this! Guaranteed to increase the size and intensity of any mycological specimen. Alright, well, I don't have a lot of money, and I don't have anything that I want to sell just yet, so... I'll go for the Gary one! Like, why not? Increase the size of my Gary? Hey, Gary! I got something for you, apparently. Gary? Give it to Gary. You give the bag of shroom grow to Gary and he tears it open and starts shoving brown lumps into his mouth. A deliciousness! Gary has become more powerful. Groovy! Great! Good for Gary. Great, Gary. Hello! How's it going? Post office boxes, one of those newfangled telegraph machines. Hi, I'm Mumfler Vumberdink. Any mail for me? Nope. Darn. Well, I'd like to send a postcard. All right, hey, let's have it. You write a quick note to Rufus letting him know that what you've been up to and that you're okay. That'll be, oh, it's one of them prepaid ones. That'll be zero meat. Oh, goody! Goody, goody gumdrops. Hello. This little girl is selling flowers. Buy some. Aw, I got some sweet smelling flowers. Oh. Oh, that's, these flowers smell really good. I bet they do. I bet they do indeedy doo da. All right. The clerk clears her throat. Howdy, are you the sheriff here? No, we don't have a sheriff. I'll be your sheriff. Do you have law enforcement experience? Not really. Have you been to sheriff school? No. Do you have an existing relationship with Dirtwater's local government? Are you familiar with the local ordinances? Do you even live here? No. Then what, may I ask, in tarnation makes you think you'd be qualified to be a sheriff? I just assume. You just assume that you can mosey into town and become sheriff on your first day. Well, when you put it that way. 
If I had five meat for every wide-eyed protagonist looking kid who wanders in here thinking they're the most important tenderfoot to ever strap on iron, I wouldn't need this dead-end clerking job. Sorry. It's okay. Like I said, it happens all the time. Need any help until you find a new one? Sure, if you're any good with a gun, there's always somebody who needed justice. Wanted posters are back there, sells are over yonder. She points behind her and off to the right, respectively. Okie dokie then. Hello? It's a waste wasted, the stripey hat gang. For grand theft paint and tasteless hat vandalism. Last seen in the vicinity of Cavern Canyon. Dirty rotten paint thieves. Okay, I'll go after them. Alright. Wanted, the house in the desert gang. For mortgage non-payment, squatting, and general public nuisance. Also for murdering two collection agents. Last seen at a desert in the de house in the desert. Let's see. You wonder if the house is named after them or if they're named after the house. Okay, alright, got it. Alrighty then, where am I going now? Don't run over me! Lot available, lot available. Why are you so angry, lady? Why are you so angry? Lot available, lot available, not a lot available <laughs> past this point. Alrighty then, this is where things went wrong for me before. So, on the way, uh, yeah. You notice a smoldering hole in the ground and recognize it as the habitat of the southeast western coal snake. They keep to themselves mostly, but they're also known to enjoy a fight when one's thrust upon one. Let's thrust one upon it. Let's thrust- let's thrust a fight. Gary, no! <laughs> oh, you caught a whiff of old Gary, did ya? Well, I'm gonna beef up a little bit. Mmm, that's nice and beefy. Alright, let's see what we can do. Hiya! Oh, it's so much better! Gary, what can you do? Gary will Gary Foo the target two times, dealing 11 to 14 damage with each blow! Gary will spawn a goblin grunt to assist you. Reproduce! Go, Gary. Go for it. Ugh. <laughs> oh, I'm just gonna shoot it. Bang! Oh, that's so much better! Oh, I don't even know how you can do with the hard hat. The hard hat's so hard! Oh, coal snake skin has been liberated from a coal snake's body. Put it on your hat to add plus three moxie. Well, that sounds really nice. Snake venom bladder? I don't want that. I don't want that at all. As you dismount and approach the house where the bandits are holed up, you hear a voice in from inside say, What was that? Uh-oh. Looks like you're gonna have to be sneaky if you want to avoid a full-on fracas. Sneaky's my middle name. Yes, it's Mumfler Sneaky Fumperdink. Oh, indeedy do it is. All right, Gary, what do you think about this? Oh, be careful, Quiet House, Angry Dog. Gary hoping you are sneaking. Mmm, <laughs> okay, Gary. I'm gonna be sneaking here. Oh, Tim Fleur, calm down with your craziness for just one second. Oof. Oh, this doghouse contains an angry dog. Very funny. You're not gonna be able to get past it without alerting the gang inside. Uh, back off for now. Okay, so there's gotta be something... I had to... Let's see. Oh! You find a crate lying by the side of the trail. It's lid knocked loose. It has fell off the back of a cart LTD stenciled on the side, which seems a bit on the nose. But hey, free stuff is free stuff. Alright. I got ranch dressing, bar of soap, and a handful of nails. Good for me. I don't know what those are gonna do for me, but I, I guess good for me. Oh, let's see. Hello. Oh, poker. This table's full up. Play poker. Not room. Oh, I'll play poker. All right. So the lady to your right introduces herself as Pearl, and the player to your left says his name is Gene. Ante up. You ante up, Pearl and Gene. Uh, wait. Why don't I have gumption and glamour? Oh, it's a really great hand. Three tens and four kings of spades. I'm pretty good, I guess. Check. Call. Pot is 120 meat, and you estimate your chances of winning at around 50%. Grit my teeth and raise. I got grit, baby. Flop. Time to do or die. I'm gonna cleverly raise. Bam! Reveal my cards. How do you have a royal straight? What? Oh, I win. A b I, I have a backwards royal full. <laughs> Oh, it's- it's completely bullshit! Oh, I see. Oh, I got it. Oh, I get you. That makes sense. <laughs> oh, that's silly. I'll walk away. Hey, it, wor it works though. Rules. 
Fours are wild and the sixes of hearts are double wild. <laughs> Sevens are wild and one-handed queens of spades are double wild. Jacks are wild unless accompanied by two fives. Two twos of diamonds and two one-handed jacks of hearts count as an Arizona straight. Cross-eyed queen must be replaced with three queens. Sixes are wild. <laughs> oh my god. That's too many rules for me. Alright, I'm out of here. It doesn't make any sense. Alright, what do we get here? Spirit discussion. I'll buy some slop. Okay, I got a plate of slop. That's nice. See bartender for darts. They're allowed to drink without hats. A stage? Oh. Anything gonna happen here? Is there a point to this? <laughs> hey, got an XP for cleaning up. Hey, janitors must be the highest level sons of bitches around here. Hello. Hi. Hello? Hey, what are you doing here? Employees only, bud. Oh, sorry, I was just, you know, looking around. So you're the nosy type, eh? I prefer adventuresome. As it happens, there's something you can do for me. I'm out of saltpeter and need someone to go pick up me a s'more some. Saltpeter, isn't that used to make gunpowder? And other things! Look, who's the chef here? Marry you! Okay, okay. Where can I find it? Your best bet's a military camp. Because it's used to make gunpowder? Shut up. The nearest one is Fort Cowardice. They keep it in little green jars. Okay. Alright, I'll be right back. Okay, alright. See you then. How's it going, buddy? How's it going, man? Stares off in the distance. He doesn't react at all. Alright. Oh, no. This is a spittoon, which is sort of brass bucket that people spit into instead of spitting on the floor. Because not spitting at all is an option in this society, I guess. I say this despite knowing that you're pretty <laughs> intimately familiar with spittoons already, sicko. <laughs> Inspect it. Look, the Jewel Saloon is pretty nice as saloons go. Actual glass in the windows, more than two kinds of drinks, a poker room instead of a cockfighting pit, but this spittoon is still a spittoon. The rancid tobacco spit inside, it isn't fancy rancid tobacco spit. Inspect it. Ah, uh, here we go again! Alright, fine, you are now hunkered down next to a brass filth bucket, which has probably never been cleaned or emptied because you're near the desert and the ambient humidity around here is pretty low. Low enough that the spit evaporates nearly as quickly as it accumulates. So that's good, right? No, that's bad. Because it's only the water part of the spit that evaporates. This brass bucket is half full of the rest of the spit. The toxins and filth that don't evaporate. Several years worth. Distilled and concentrated until it's the consistency of molasses. People aren't allowed to flick cigarette butts into this spittoon anymore because they bounce out. Search it. You're about to put your hand into a bucket of something the color and viscosity of maple syrup, except instead of maple, it's flavored with the inside of the mouths of people who chew cigars instead of smoking them, and have never brushed their teeth. Yeah. Glorb. It feels like putting your hand into a bucket of lukewarm tapioca pudding. Except instead of tapioca, it's basically poison. It smells like someone ran over a skunk, waited a week, and then set it on fire. It feels like your hand is dissolving. Keep searching. You found something. You found a tacky, filth-covered porcelain cow figurine. A useless, disgusting thing that will make a great heirloom for your children. Assuming you're still able to have any, and you hate them. Hooray! I got- what is that? What even is that? Oh. Wait, you have to hold this little porcelain cow upside down because it's filled with tobacco spit and you don't want to f f spill out the little hole in the bottom. <laughs> it goes in your hand. <laughs> hey, wow! Three melee attack damage! Oh, man. Well, I have to get rid of my flowers. My nice smelling flowers for this probably not nice smelling filthy porcelain cow. <laughs> They're right there. My prize. Oh wait, I need to apply this to my hat. Boop. You put the cold snakeskin on your hat, making it slightly blacker than it was before. At least in the area right above the brim. At least it's not the hard hat. Hey, I got an extra to my hat! Which is nice, I suppose. I think so. Do I have a- Oh, I gotta spend my XP. Moxie, mysticality. Man, my buffs have got me way up. Oh, I guess I could also get more... Skills. I'll hold on to that. I'll hold on to it, just for a little bit. I'll hold on to it, because maybe you never know when I'm gonna need that later. Okay, but I found another way to- No, I thought I found it. Oh. Whoa! Whoa! That's big! Wander. You've discovered a new map location, Silversmith's House. 
Okay, go there now. Hello! How's it going? A bench and human tools for looking at. This gear looks like for making bullets. Oh! Bullets are things to making? Weird! Well, somebody has to make them. Where did you think they came from? Thinking they are gun eggs. Alrighty then. Silver bullet making apparatus, help yourself. Okay, I'm helping myself. All right, the workbench has a little burner and crucible for melting silver things and making some bullet moles. Seems pretty straightforward. There's a vice. You could smash silver bullets into needles if you wanted to. Make three bullets. Not planning on going to any weddings or funerals anytime soon, so you figure it's safe to turn these cufflinks into something immediately useful. Okay. All right, well, silver bullets in case I see like a, like a, it's a button calf, cactus. Why don't I have harvesting? Why don't I have harvesting and or dickering? All right, door's locked. Pick the lock, go inside. Hello, Gary, how'd you get in here? Hello, nobody home. Nope, from all the dust, it looks like they've been gone a while. Nice, so things for being us? Let's see, whatever isn't, isn't nailed down, I guess. All right, what's in here? Oh God, it's another spittoon. Oh no! Oh, I don't have any safe cracking. Oh no. Oh god. Let's see. Find a couple of things that still look edible. Alright, got that. Contains 90 copies of Johnny Tremaine. There's something weird about it though. It's too neatly organized. Maybe the guy was hiding something here. I got enough moxie because I'm so damn angry! Tuck behind one of the books, you find a small envelope with filled with silver receipts. About half of them for a shop called the Silver Platter. He was crooked. The silversmith was selling cheap fakes. Oh well, he's gone now and so are most of his customers. No sense in stirring up trouble at this point. You write down the location of the shop, might come in handy. Alrighty then. Alright, well. <sighs> a spittoon, at least it looks like a spittoon, but it's next to the bed. It might actually be a bed pan. Here we go. Investigate it. What, really? I mean, if it's just a spittoon, that's bad enough, but it might be a bedpan, and that would be way worse. Investigate it. I feel like maybe you aren't getting what I'm saying. We're talking about an object that somebody probably uses when they wake up in the middle of the night and can't be bothered to walk to the outhouse. And the best you can hope for is maybe they only use it to spit nighttime tobacco juice into it. In which case, it's only full of rancid congealing tobacco spit. I'm investigating. <laughs> I, are you even listening to me or are you just sort of skimming past the text bedpan? Look, I'm pretty sure there's treasure in there and you aren't stopping me. <laughs> bedpan, shut up, I'm investigating. Okay, fine, have it your way, your own filthy, disgusting way. It turns out to probably not be a bedpan, but it is definitely a spittoon and it is definitely filled with rotting brown spit fish around in it. What is wrong with you? Bite me! Oh good god, okay. You plunge your hand in up to the wrist. It makes a gloop sound and breaks the thin skin of congealing toxins that was previously keeping the dire smell in relative check. You are now choking in a miasma of oily bitter jaw stink. You know that feeling when you're about to puke? How you get that taste way back in the rear corners of your mouth? That metallic tang by the root of your tongue like you're sucking on an old corroded penny? Just tell me what I found already. You found a filthy slime covered old brooch. Are you happy? I bet you're gonna put it on without even washing it first. Maybe I will! So there! <laughs> this brooch would be much smaller if it weren't for the thick layer of tarnish and dried tobacco spit. Goes on your lapel. I don't know what my lapel- oh, is that where the sheriff badge goes? Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> I've got a nasty ring, a filthy porcelain cow, and a revolting brooch. Oh shit, what's my luck I'm finding all of these goddamn spittoons by random? It's destiny, I tell ya. Alright, let's get out of here, Templar. We're gonna wander a bit. Well, we want- oh. Oh! Go there now! Stern's Ranch. How did I went south? How did I find that? Hey! Oh, need dolls! Need dolls! Hello, angry cows have been here seeming. Do you guys get in much trouble from the cows? Some, not like a ranch's do, mostly leaving us alone. But a running in's they happen. So mean, very angry, very fireful. Yeah, no kidding. 
All right, whatever. Let's see, what do we got here? Woo! Alrighty then. Ah, I need safe Kraken. All right, partner. Looking here, flat wall cow. That's weird. All right, the food. You got cat's eye candy and sugar guns. Weird cow shape stand on the wall. It's probably something to do about that later on. Man, there's a lot of secrets in this game. It's a crate. All right, got a lock and a lasso and a depressed rancher candy. Ooh, what's going on here? So much burnt. Poor humans. I wonder who burned the bodies. Not cows. This is obvious. No, probably a neighbor, I guess. Okay. Lock picking plus needle. All right, I got a stock certificate. Well, that's good. I like me some stocks. Still some beans in the pot. Got blackened beans. Let's see. Ooh. Hello. Mary Stern's diary. Talk to yeah, a creepy burnt porcelain doll. Okay. Pull the string. You pull the string. The doll's eyes roll into the back of its head. Its mouth begins to move. Hi, I'm Grace. What's your name? I'm Mumfler. Hi, Mumfler. You're nice. Do you want to play with me? Yes, let's play. Hooray. Mary used to play with me, but we didn't get to finish our tea party before she went away. Will you help me finish it? Surely. Hooray. The game is almost over. Mary did such a good job. The doll's eyes roll back forward. Go downstairs and get my cup. Do you know the magic word to make the mean cow let you into his secret room? Oh, what is it? The magic word is peanut butter. Got it. Peanut butter. You shudder as you realize that talking dolls haven't been invented yet. Spooky. Alrighty then. Well, that's too bad for me. I'm probably cursed for all eternity, but I guess I'm just gonna be fine. Whisper peanut peanut butter. Peanut butter. Oh. They had a cow altar? Atop this sinister looking altar sits a copper goblet filled with what appears to be blood. Should probably destroy that goblet. I've had my run in with. I don't know a lot about you, goblet! I'm gonna leave this one up to people to tell me whether or not that's good or not to do that. So if you guys know whether or not that's good or not to do that, I'll leave it sit right where it lie. Because I don't want to be responsible for anything bad. Between the smoke and the noise, you're guessing that the contents of this outhouse are more dangerous than the average outhouse. <laughs> oh, Mary Stearns, Gwendolyn Stearns. Huh. Flowers smoking. Pick it. Smoking chrysanthemum. Devoted father. Jethro's bones were dug up. Got a charred locket. Interesting. Man, I got a lot of shit. Charred locket. Examine it. Pick the lock. Uh-huh. Picture of Mary Stearns. That's weird. The back is written Mary Stearns Thanksgiving. Where was that? Yeah, the diary. The first page in the little girl's handwriting, this is the diary of Mary Stearns. The AI and diary are crossed out, and IA are written above them. The, di di the diary starts out as a typical kid's fluff. You flip ahead until you notice the writing getting shakier. Found a dolly under a cactus out back, and she told me her name was Grace. Mama and Papa don't believe that she talks. They say I got an imagination. Grace says the cows are gonna get us, but Papa says we'll be okay because this weren't never a cow ranch. Grace says he's wrong, but Papa won't believe me. Grace says she can keep the cows away, but I have to play tea with her. I don't like this kind of tea party, but Grace says it's important to keep the cows away. Mama said... Mama was sad that they couldn't find Effie. Papa said she's been gone so long, and they think they should put a cross up, but Mama won't let him because she thinks that she'll come back. Papa said she's only 11. How far could she have gone? And Mama started crying again. Don't want to play tea party anymore, but Grace says I have to. Papa was out two days looking for Joey, but of course he didn't find him. Mama cries so much. I tried to tell her him and Effie are helping keep the cows away, but she doesn't understand. I told Grace I'm not playing tea party again, but she says I gotta, and if I don't, cows will eat all three of us. Oh, I know what she's doing. She said either I get Mama or Papa to play, or else I gotta play by myself. That's the last entry. I know what the cup's for now! I know what the cup's for! Hey! Hold the string! Mumfler, I've already played this! Uh... I don't think I should get your cup. Boy, oh, yeah, that's a bad idea. I'm gonna still leave that up to you guys, because that seems like a bad idea. This <laughs> seems like the worst idea ever. Oh, man, but there's so many different ways to go about things. 
Okay, but anyway, I think I'm at the end of this episode here. Thank you everybody so much for watching. Now that I don't have the hat, I can actually play the game and have fun with it. Oh, before I go, let me kill what's in this outhouse here and see if there's something else here. Oh, hi. Well, these jerks are quick. Gary, no! Wow, Gary just can't be hit apparently. It's impossible. Oh, uh, I don't want to attack Gary. All right, well, let's give this gander, see if I'm still up to the challenge of getting beefy! I've got a lot of muscle and moxie. Bam, baby! All right, how about you, bam? Gary, fool him! Oh, oh, Gary got the fool. Let's see. You find a toilet pistol. <laughs> Ah, uh, hooray! Another stinky tool to add to my terribly stinky collection. Adds deal stench damage instead of... Oh, uh, that's, that's horrible. Apply five poison. I'll take that. I'll take another disgusting thing. Oh, uh, that's funny. Anyway, that's all the time I got for this episode. I love this game so much. It's so funny. So thank you everybody so much for watching. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!